Here we go. Is it? Yes, it's lunchtime. I'm feeling so fly. No, oh, I that is so high. cool. The way I feel inside. Everybody say. It's science time. It's science time. It's science time. Welcome back to another amazing day of learning right here with Mr. C. Very excited about today because we are talking a Rubens tube. What does that mean? It means we're going to combine a little bit of flame with a little bit of sound to show you some amazing science. I built this probably six months ago. I created this and it's a Rubens tube. So Heinrich Rubens, a German scientist, I think was born in 1865, developed this tube in 1905 and he's very famous for it. And what it allows us to do, it allows us to look at standing sound waves and we know, because we've talked about it before, that inside of this tube, this is a four inch aluminum ducting. Um, and what I've done is I've drilled little holes down the center of it equally. And I believe, if I remember correctly, they were three quarters of an inch apart. So everything is spaced evenly. And when you see the flame here in a little bit, you'll be able to tell me whether or not it was spaced evenly. Um, but on this side, I capped it and I sealed it using this duct tape. And then I also, on this side, I have a pink balloon, and it's a membrane. And that's important because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking up sound to this side, and we're going to be pumping sound into this tube to allow us to see what the sound is doing. Now, a sound wave, sound travels through air. Air is a type of medium, right? So sound, when I talk, it's vibrating the air here. It's coming to the microphone. It's transformed. You can hear it at your house. But what happens is with sound, sound also can bounce. So when I tap this, I'm adding pressure to this membrane. It's vibrating the air inside and it's moving here and it's coming back. So when I hit this once, we move the air, that's, that pulse of air moves down and it comes back. And then if I hit it at the same rate again, it moves back and forth like this. And when we we're gonna put a tone into this at a certain hertz, a certain frequency, and that's how many cycles of sound we have per second. So I have a, a small little video that I wanna put onto the screen, and basically it shows us the molecules kind of bouncing inside of this if we're hitting it and causing this thing to resonate. So you can see that we have these molecules that are inside of this tube, and when we hit that tube, those molecules are smashing into each other and they bounce. And when we do multiple, they start having these areas where they're condensed. And that's that dark streak of black dots. That's gonna be the peak of our wave. And then the part where it's spread apart, that's the trough. We're going to actually show you what's going on here with some flame. You guys wanna check it out? It's really cool. As we know, sounds are made by vibrations. All sounds have this origin. Yeah. Let me turn the speaker on. Oops, turn that off. There we go, we should have sound here in a second. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna put on my goggles. So here we go. I've got my goggles on. We're gonna be dealing with flame. This is propane. This is not an experiment that you guys should be trying at home. This is for demonstra demonstration purposes only. I've got the gas in there. I'm gonna give it a second. It's gonna have a really high flame at first. I just want to make sure it's nice and full. All right. I'm wondering if we should turn off the lights. Wait, hold on. Let me add a little bit of, there we go. So we can see actually, we're trying to get it so it's not bouncing. So I'm going to turn down. It's going to bounce a little bit. We've got some moving air in the house because we're circulating some air. We've got some windows open. But when I take my finger and I tap this, whoops. You can see I cause a pulse. And these other flames will come back on here in a second. So this is me tapping it. 
Now, if I can do multiple taps and send the frequency through at the same rate, there we go, we start seeing some things. And so I have my phone here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going, I have an app to show you a frequency. And we're going to play with the frequency just a little bit. Uh, let's turn off the lights. I think it'll be a lot cooler. Lights off in three, two, one. Oh yeah. Is that amazing or what? All right, here we go. We're going to turn on this app. And I'm going to start at 475. Actually, yeah, we'll just. So right now we can see. Hold on, let me. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this app. So this is 475 hertz. So it's creating 470 vibrations per second. We're going to turn that on. And I'm going to bring this closer. And what we can do is we can actually see where those gas molecules are being compressed. Right here, right here, right here. So we've got a wave. This is a sine wave, all right? So it's resonating in there, and this is what it's creating. I'm going to drop the frequency, and we're going to see what happens to our wave. I'm going to go down to about 380. And it's going to be a little loud. So I've changed it. So the frequency is lower and now we have less waves. Okay. I'm going to go down a little bit more. You can still see the wave. It's not as high. And so we can actually keep adjusting. We can go up. kind of started see what get and when we get up into the higher frequency it's harder to see it so we're going to stay down here in this 460 Hertz range because I think that's a really cool wave and you can see it we have its peak the drop the trough and the wave just keeps going all the way around it that's really loud isn't it <laughs> See if we, if we turn the volume down, look what happens to the volume, our wave. When we decrease the volume, the amplitude or the height of the wave decreases. When we turn it up, it gets more intense. So when we turn the volume up on things, the wave gets higher, and that's what we call the amplitude, the height of that wave. I'm going to turn down just a little bit so we can bear the sound here in the house and what's neat is when I turn this off uh oh my screen Heather when I stop it the wave just goes back to normal and when I play it instantly it goes to the wave sound is something that just fascinates me um, sound is an amazing thing it's around us all the time and um, sound travels different speeds through different mediums, all right? So I think sound travels 330 meters per second in, you know, air. And depending on the temperature of air, it changes. But then inside this tube, because ga this gas is more dense, it's heavier, it's traveling faster. And so we get this really, really cool thing that's happening. All right. Should we listen to a song? See what it does with the song? I think we should listen to a song. Now, we have to use Mr. C's science songs because they're super cool. Not only are they super cool, but copyright reasons, we don't want the video to get taken down. So enjoy the show. Hands up, clap, join the moment. Alright, so here we go. It's science time. Let's see what this does. It's science time. It's time. Explore 
learn new things. He with Mr. C. Oh, that's really cool. Every time the bass kicks in, it's like doom, 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 doom. The amplitude, right? That bass is just like doom, doom. And we can see that. And then you can see like when some of the higher pitch things are the flames start to <laughs> Here we go. Explore and learn new things. He with Mr. C. It's science time. So you can see it right here. We got it. We know it's awesome. It's a dip we right know here. It's great. It's science time. So here we go together. Now enjoy the show. Hands are clapping. Join the flow. It's science, science, science time. Let's all stop and just the fun. All right. So that's it's science time. Very cool song, I might add. Um, not that I'm biased towards it, but I do think it's pretty cool. All right. So let's see. If you ever I haven't ever heard of this song, it's called Chicken Nuggets Applesauce. <laughs> and we made it because we love chicken nuggets applesauce and let's see what it does here chicken nuggets applesauce chicken nuggets chicken nuggets applesauce chicken chicken nuggets chicken nuggets applesauce let's order get punches and soon you'll see us munching they're yummy they're scrumptious love buying my school lunches won't try to deny you the tasty food you're craving each dollar each penny all week now we've been saving i see you can't believe it almost there can almost taste it i'm drooling i'm not fooling waiting for that special flavor it's lunchtime now i'm online waiting for the food i like best it's lunchtime and i'm starving chicken nuggets i feel sauce yes chicken ch chicken nuggets That's an awesome song, right? Chicken Nuggets Applesauce. If you like Chicken Nuggets Applesauce, let me know. There's there's the bass drop. I'm going to get to it really quick. I just want to hop to it because like, boom, doo -doo. So we're going to go to that really quick. All right, here we go. All right. I will eat them, no can share what I'm the biggest kid here. At school lunch is oh so fun, yes, hanging with my friends every day. We order chicken nuggets, applesauce. Here it goes. Like crazy. Yes, it's lunch time. I'm feeling so fly. No, oh, I that is so high. cool! The way I feel inside. Everybody say chicken nuggets, applesauce, chicken nuggets, applesauce, chicken nuggets, applesauce. I can never get enough. Chicken nuggets, applesauce, chicken nuggets, applesauce, chicken nuggets, applesauce. I can never get enough. I can never get enough. Get enough. Get enough. No, 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 no. I can never get enough. Let's order. Get all right, that's pretty cool. I could watch this all day. From this angle, it is just fascinating. I hope it looks as cool from that angle as it does from this angle. Let's see. Let's do one more. You're making everybody ready for lunch. Yeah, it is like it is you lunch time. Lunch. <laughs> if you eat chicken nuggets and applesauce today for lunch, send us a photo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so awesome. All right, here we go. Um, we've got hot photosynthesis. Line them up. Three M's. Let's do triangles, because I know it's got a little bit of bass to it. So this is one of my math songs, Triangles. Um, it's getting warm in here. I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. Whew. All right. Here we go. One more song. We'll do part of it. Mr. C is going to teach you about the triangles. Triangles. Only half the I have to say the bell that ding you can see it over here ding all right watch it really closely Ties, triangle. It's time to bust the ride. so first let's talk about the different sides equilateral isosceles and scaling ties when you look at them closely almost like a different shape it's all about the three sides make no mistake equilateral all sides are equal so perfectly created it should be illegal when you check it out you're like they all look the same lobby the dolly the equal that's the name of the game How cool is that? Seriously. This is an amazing tool to demonstrate and allows us to see sound. See sound. And it's not something we could typically do because air is transparent. So when sound vibrations are moving through the air, we don't see them. Sometimes we feel them. Uh, like at 4th of July when there's huge fireworks and the big boom. We see the light of the fireworks and all of a sudden we feel the rumble of an explosion. Boom. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so I want to definitely share this with all of you today. This is one of those things that you're not doing at home, but if you like it, you can come back and watch it. In fact, we're actually going to record 
the entire songs with these here in a little bit, and we're going to post them to YouTube so you can watch the whole um, piece. I think that would be really cool to watch the whole song. If you like that activity and want to see more experiments, make sure you like and subscribe. See you soon.